You have to carry this fascination Porsche inside of you. Otherwise, all of this doesn't make sense to you. Otherwise, you won't even understand the message here on Porsche News TV. This is where they built the new icon, the Taycan. The first full electric Porsche. I am Tyron Ricketts, an absolutely convinced Porsche enthusiast. This is the assembly hall for the Taycan, Building 70. In 2015, Porsche said, e-mobility, that's what we do. That is what the Mission E, the concept car, looked like at the time. And now, it's really here. The first full electric car from Porsche, the Taycan. The Taycan was supposed to be a full electric sports car from the beginning, and yet unmistakable a portion. The body is fully galvanized and consists mainly of aluminum and steel. The battery case is not installed additionally, but is part of the supporting structure. From 180 kilometers per hour, the body is automatically lowered by 2.2 centimeters. This means more aerodynamics, better road holding. And truth be told, just forget everything you've ever learned about e-mobility so far. This is a completely different league. The Taycan has two super efficient electric machines, front and rear. In principle, an electric motor consists of a coil on which copper wire is wound. The Taycan has a hairpin winding. What does this mean? If one winds round wires together, there is space between them, not with rectangular ones. In short, absolute power density, absolutely awesome torque. The Taycan has 800 volts system voltage. The usual voltage is 400 volts. Does it make any sense? Of course it makes sense. The same power, but the cables are only half as thick. In other words, the cables take up less space and are a few kilos lighter. You can recharge electricity for about 100 kilometers in just about five minutes. Different plugs, different sockets, different charging stations. With this car, not a problem anymore. You can charge it almost everywhere. It has left and right charging connections. You sit in the car and Porsche, clearly Porsche. And the cockpit, from classic to digital. Really, really sexy. If already digital, then 100%. That's why there's no analog speedometer. And you don't need it anymore. But now you get a power meter. Ignition key, no. You don't need that anymore. But you still have the left side for this button here. Recuperation. You know what that means, don't you? It's the recovery of energy. With other electric motors, you leave the accelerator pedal and the car brakes. So you know the electric motors are now generators and charge my battery. The Taycan can do that too. When you leave the pedal, the Taycan rolls on. That means it keeps going. Only when you step on the brakes does it recuperate. Only when you really hit the brakes hard do the normal brakes work, but only then. I don't know if this car is for you. For me, it definitely is. Porsche at its best. More about the new Taycan on Porsche News TV.